Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, we're going to focus on one of the error which we get while using the lookup value function within Power BI. Now you might get this error while using the other functions as well, but for this particular video, we're going to focus on the lookup value function and the error which we're receiving here. So what does the error say here? It says a table of multiple values was supplied where a single value was expected. Now in this video, we will learn when does this error occur and how do you fix this particular error? Now to explain what we're trying to do here, if we go to our data set, so I have my order ID in our fact table orders. I have my order ID. I'm trying to get the customer name against that particular order ID. And if I look at the customer name table from where we're getting the uh, customer name, I have order ID and I have customer name. So basically I'm using the order ID column to look up the customer name against it. Now, let us first understand why does this error occur? Now, let us look at one of the order IDs as an example. So if you look at this data over here, there is one order ID, but there are multiple customer names associated with that order ID. So if you look at the first row here, which is Felina Ober, and the second one has Darren Power. Now, this is the reason why Power BI is not able to identify what is the output column that you want out of these multiple customer names that are available here in this particular data set. Now, however, let us say if I use the same name here in the third, second row as well, and I save this file and go back to BI, close this, refresh all. Um, so once this is done, I'm going to close this and apply. So once this is applied, now if I go back here to my customer name, you will see that this is now perfectly working fine without having any issues, right? So which means that when we fix the name over here, it started showing the correct name over here. That is like we fix the database in itself, which will help Power BI fetch the right customer name against that particular order ID. But however, if you could not fix the data in your database or your Excel file, so how does that work and how can we fix the issue? So let us go back here. I'm going to paste the uh, Darren Powers here. I'm going to save this and let's go back to BI and refresh my customer name table over here. We'll get back the particular error again, a table of multiple values was supplied. So now you have understood why the error is occurring. Now, in case you're not able to fix the data in the database in itself, we will now be learning as to how do we fix the issue in uh, Power BI using the DAX. So let's get rid of the lookup value here. Instead of lookup value, we're going to use a different function now. So we'll start typing in with calculate and then uh, calculate uh, first non-blank. So this is the function that we will be using, first non-blank and it's asking us to enter the column name. So in this case, it's going to be the customer name, comma, expression is going to be one. I'm going to close the bracket here, followed by a comma, and then I'm going to say filter all. Here, I'm going to select the customer name table. I'm going to close the bracket, comma, and then filter expression. I'm going to type in the order ID from my orders table is equals to order ID from my customer table. Okay, I'm going to close the bracket once, twice. Make sure that the calculate uh, bracket here is getting closed as well. I'm then going to press on enter. Now, as you can see, the Power BI has accepted the DAX formula. And let's go back to the database here. We will see that our customer name table has been populated. Now, uh, this is the another way of fixing the issue whenever you get the uh, error that we just discussed. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.